Do you want to comb through a racer puzzle to look for hidden objects? You can see that the picture is too wide to fit on the screen, so it'll move slowly across the screen. That way, you can see the whole thing and find all of the hidden objects. It's a busy day at Lion's Barbershop. The line for haircuts and mane trims is all the way out the door. Mr. Lion's customers really love his work, but he can't give good haircuts unless he has plenty of combs. Help him find the hidden combs as the picture moves by and count out loud as you find each one. There are 25 hidden combs, and in this round, you'll have 25 seconds to see the whole picture. Find the hidden combs. Ready to start? Let's go. did you find? If you found 10 or more, you made the cut. Okay, let's try it one more time. Only this time, you'll have a whole minute to find as many combs as you can. Ready? Go! that time. I'll bet you found a lot more. If you found 15, you did great. And if you found 20 or more, you've combed to the right place. Okay, let's go through the whole picture and see where all 25 of the combs were hidden. actually having a lion cut your hair? If he did a great job, he would definitely be your main man. Sloths can be anywhere from two to two and a half feet long and weigh between eight and 17 pounds. Sloths can turn their heads around 270 degrees. That's almost all the way around. 11,000 years ago, there were ancient sloths called Megatherium. They were the size of modern elephants. Sloths are surprisingly good swimmers and sometimes travel from tree to tree in the water during the rainy season. Baby sloths can spend up to the first 12 months of their lives hanging on to their mothers and never touch the ground. Pretty cool, huh? Can you find what's hidden in this picture? Can you find a scarf? Where is the slice of pizza?
Can you find an ice skate? Can you find the fish? Where is the slice of watermelon? What about a mitten? Do you see an envelope? Can you find the paper clip? Where is the sock? Do you see a spoon? Can you find the comb? What about a paintbrush? Can you find a baseball bat? Do you see a wishbone? Great job! Can you figure out who I am? Some people think of me as a detective. My tools include hammers and brushes. You can usually find me outside. I dig in the ground to find clues. I work with animals that no longer exist. Who am I? A paleontologist! Brain play! If paintings could come to life, what would you paint? I would paint huge birds. And a, purple, and a purple elephant, a dragon. Because it's, dragons are awesome and my, they're my favorite animal. I would paint hot weather. Um, I would paint it raining stars. I would paint a dog. My family, so I could have two families. <laughs> Make it! We're going to be making colorful coasters. They're going to look like this. The supplies that will be needed are styrofoam, pencils, various types of yarn, scissors, and tape. So we take this, a, a colored tray made out of styrofoam, and then we draw a circle or whatever shape you want your coaster to be. Maybe I can make a zigzag. A peace sign. Yeah, cool. Maybe I can make a heart. That would be awesome. Great well, circle. That's nice. Thank you. So now let's cut these out. Okay. 
Are you almost done? Yep. Just gotta finish this one and out. So, what's the next step? Well, you poke holes with your pencil so you can thread the yarn through. You can poke it anywhere you want, but it has to be like a design. I finished my smiley face, so what's the next step? Well, you have to get some tape and put it on the end of the yarn so it'll be easier to put through your coaster. Does this look good? Yeah, it looks really good. I'm doing green first. And you can do multiple uh, colors. I'll do orange first. I think I just have to do this last one and then I'm finished. Look at my design. It's kind of like a crisscross. Yeah. Ta-da! Ta Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry, it's only a knock, knock joke. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Fangs. Fangs who? Fangs for letting me in. Well, you're very welcome. Knock, knock. Who's there? Goblin. Goblin who? Goblin, your food will give you a tummy ache. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Ogre. Ogre who? Please do it ogre again. <laughs> Ask Highlights Kids! Bill M. from Washington, D.C. wrote, I want to get a pet dog, but my parents say we can't because my sister is allergic. I'm really sad that we can't get a dog because of her. What should I do? Well, if you were your sister, would you, would you want your brother to get a pet dog and you get allergic? I don't think so. So maybe you could volunteer at a, a pet rescue and maybe you can go to the dog park with your mom and dad and go play with those dogs because your sister doesn't want to get allergic and if you were your sister, you wouldn't want to get allergic, would you? Well, you can get another pet that you like, you know, cause you know, dog's not the only pet you can get. Or you can do what I did when um, I couldn't get a real dog. I got a robot dog. But remember, dogs aren't the only pets in the world. Get a turtle, get a lizard, get a cat. Yeah, and you don't really have to have a dog to have fun cause you can just use your imagination. Because your imagination helps you have fun. Yeah, yeah you can. And you can create anything with your imagination. Yeah, lots of people don't have pets and they still have fun. I hope those answers help, Phil. Now let's go take a look at our answers. Yeah! yeah. Consider how your sibling feels. It isn't her fault that she has an allergy. With a parent's permission, volunteer at a pet rescue center. Get another pet that won't make your sibling's allergies act up. And ask for a toy pet or use your imagination to have fun. Today on Ever Wonder, we're at Calkins Creamery, a dairy farm that makes cheese. Emily and Maggie are going to show us their process. There are many different types of cheese, but the first step is always milking the cow. The milk is stirred in the pasteurizer, which heats up and kills off bacteria that naturally lives in the milk. Starter cultures and rennet are added, which helps to make the milk curd and stick together. After stirring and resting, the cheese becomes wobbly, which means it's almost ready. After it becomes more solid, they divide the cheese up into small squares. Extra liquid from the cheese, called whey, is drained out and the cheese is stirred again. After it's completely drained, it's divided and then hooped, which is when they put it in different containers. It looks like popcorn. This cheese is wrapped up in a cheesecloth and then pressed, which gets rid of the excess moisture and forms the shape of the cheese. This 
This other cheese is being poured into molding containers and is then flipped several times. Cheese can also be dipped in wax, left to grow mold around it, or soaked in a brine for more flavor. Next time you're eating a delicious cheese curd, be sure to thank your local cow. Brain play. If animals could skateboard, which would be the best at it? I think an owl, because if he can turn his head to a 360, then he can do a 360. A kangaroo and a duck? Pigs, because um, it would be funny because they'd probably fall off a lot. A duck has webbed feet and it could stay on for a long time. I think a flamingo because they stand on like their legs all day, so they must have pretty good balance. And the kangaroo could stay on because it has big feet and it wouldn't, like, tiny feet is harder to skateboard with, but they can push themselves like really far. Hmm. Probably a newborn pig because <laughs> they're the littlest and they can just roll really fast. Can you find what's hidden in this picture? Can you find a yo-yo? Can you find a slice of bread? Do you see a spoon? What about a ruler? Can you find a pencil? Do you see a wedge of orange? Can you find a nail? Can you find a baseball glove? Do you see a horseshoe? Can you find an envelope? What about a fried egg? Do you see a duck? Now where's the donut? Can you find the dog bone? Can you find the car? Can you find the button?
Do you see the broccoli? Do you see a book? Can you find a baseball bat? Where is the banana? Job. Can you figure out who I am? I have a good memory and can recall stories easily. I work with a lot of other people, some who share my career and some who don't. I usually wear different outfits and get to dress up all the time. A lot of people watch me work. I pretend to be someone I'm not. Who am I? An actor! use our tongue to eat, drink, talk, and breathe. Most tongues have anywhere from 2,000 to 10,000 taste buds, but they are not visible to the human eye. Every 10 to 14 days, a person's taste buds die off and are replaced. The ability to roll or curl your tongue is not entirely genetic and it may be something you can learn. Just like fingerprints, everyone's tongue print is completely different. Pretty cool, huh? Make it! Today, we're gonna make onigiri. The ingredients you will need are salted water, short grain rice cooked, and drained tuna. You also need a spoon, and different kinds of vegetables if you want to make a face on yours. So first, you're going to roll your sleeves if you have sleeves and, and soak your hands in salted water. Why? It will help you not have the rice stick to your hands. I think we need to Thank put you. the rice into a bowl. Then we put our thumb in the middle, as much mm -hmm. tuna as you'd like. I think that I would like tofu in the middle. Cover it. A little more rice. And then we put vegetables on it. What's your favorite um, topping? I really like the chives or whatever chives. those things are. <laughs> this looks pretty good. Like ah! Look at my little eyebrows. Let's eat them. One, two, three. That's good. Knock, knock. Who's there? Aware. Aware who? Aware, aware has my little dog gone. I don't know. Well, he's lost. Ah. Uh, hey, Skylar, what did the buffalo say to his kid going off to college? I don't know. Bye, son. I don't get it. Well, you see, a buffalo can also be called a bison. And his kid can also be called a bison because it's a buffalo skin. Oh, I get it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Monkey. Monkey who? My key doesn't work. That's why I knock. <laughs> well, come on in. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Goat. Goat who? Go to the door and find out. Might as well. Wait, it's me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Toad. Toad who? I told you I knew all the knock, knock jokes. You're 
you're pretty smart. Would you hop at the chance to solve a racer puzzle? Let's give it a try. The puzzle picture is too wide to fit on the screen, so it'll move slowly from one side to the other. As you see the whole picture, you'll be able to find all of the hidden objects. Run, rabbits, run! It's the annual bunny marathon, and the rabbits are giving it their all. But maybe they'd be able to run faster, and further, if they could just eat a few carrots. Help the runners find the carrots, and count out loud as you find each one. There are 25 hidden carrots. In this round, you'll have 25 seconds to see the whole picture. Find the hidden carrots. Ready to race? On your mark, get set, go! did you find? If you found 10, you've got good eyes. Okay, let's try it again. Only this time, you'll have a whole minute to find as many carrots as you can. Ready? Go! time. I bet you found a few more. If you found 15, you're the carrot top. And if you found 20 or more, you're the bunny best. Okay, let's go through the whole picture and see where all 25 of the carrots are hidden. Carrot to go for another run? It's good exercise, and just like eating your vegetables, it can do a bunch of good things for your health. Can you figure out who I am? I create worlds with castles and dungeons, faraway universes, battlefields, and more. But my background is in engineering, design, and art. I take characters and ideas and design how to tell their story. Most of my work is done on a computer. My work can be found on smartphones, tablets, computers, and consoles. Who am I? A video game designer.